Hi guys, I know this is like just totally random. Absolutely no one is expecting this video. However, I have been getting a lot of complaint that I'm not taking people questions on a Sunday. So I decided I want to see who is out there at this time on a Saturday evening. Probably not best time, but I have a little time at and so definitely I'm just gonna keep talking until the notification goes out. A lot of people are not gonna receive a notification because I actually upload this pretty, pretty late. However, I am here and so far we have a couple of people watching, which is good. We have um, Divine Beauty is Everlasting made it to a live stream and that's what I'm talking about. I'm just so sorry I didn't send the information out early. So we're gonna see um, if this time works. I'm trying to find the right time to get like my um, my Indian and my Filipino subscribers, you know, on the live chat. I'm not sure if this is a good time. So this is basically a trial run. So if you're on and you're watching, this is a time for you to ask questions, okay? So we're gonna take some questions and we're just gonna basically talk for about 20 minutes or so. And then I'll see what the response is. And if you are living like somewhere in the Philippines or you're living anywhere like in India, then just give me a good time that I could get you guys. Because most of the time when I do the live chat, everyone is sleeping, right? Not my Americans and so on and so on, but Filipino and... Um, um, India, they're all sleeping. So I want to see if this would be a good time. It probably not. But as I said, if you're from any of these countries, just let me know what is a good time based on my time to see if I could work out a time for you guys. All right. So we have, um, Nandini Aora. Hi, we have Michelle Diaz. Ola from Puerto Rico. Hello, we have Claudette Stanley. Hi, Dana Barry, England. Here, sweetheart. And what are you doing up, um, Dana Barry? <laughs> It's like 1 a.m. or something like that in England now. I, I'm thinking. I'm not sleeping. It's just um, you're oh, here reading your message. Okay, all right, Rita, you're still at, well, this is dinner time, right, Rita? I'm thinking it's dinner time. Um, Lynette Brown, hi. What is the best to rub on my stomach to lose weight? Um, vapor rub. If you have vapor rub, you could mix that with some coconut oil, rub it on your stomach, wrap it with a plastic wrap, and go and do some workout. Walk around with it, go up the stairs, down the stairs. It definitely will help, along with flushing the toxin out of your body. You could boil some parsley leaves with some ginger. Also, you could put some um, celery in that, mix that up, put a little cayenne pepper, and you're on your way to losing weight. Um, a coming Monday, guy, I am actually going to be doing a very strict, which is going to be difficult for me. I'm going to actually try to do the um, 10 days, no sugar, no carb diet. That's going to be difficult because I don't eat meat. So I'm used to just eating salad and meat. So since I make the switch, this is the first time I'm going to attempt something like that. So guys, if you want to join in, I think it's something going around and I am fascinated by it because I really don't know what I'm going to eat. Right? So I'm going to do it, guys, and I'm going to tell you all about it when I'm done. And then I might, you know, do a little update on the channel to see if you guys want to join in for the second round. But I'm definitely going to try that. So if you find that your stomach is getting a little big and you want to try something, maybe you should join, you know, this 10-day no sugar, no, no carb diet along with all the other celebrities and everybody that is out there doing it. Um, um, Shawanda, oh, um, oh, hello, Chichi, how can I quickly like and bikini line naturally now i would suggest for bikini line you gotta exfoliate okay if you exfoliate a lot using like some tomato dip that with your lemon a little brown sugar or a little baking soda exfoliate the area use some cocoa butter on it natural pure cocoa butter and you should be fine but you gotta start now if you're living somewhere that is cold 
and you're trying to get yourself ready for summer and it's very, very dark, you got to try. Don't be afraid to rub some potato on it also. I talk a lot about the potato because I basically swear by the potato because it's really and truly work. So, but with dedication, as with everything on this channel, you have to be dedicated to it, all right? Josephine Gr um, Gritson, hey, Chichi, please help. How can I stay away from carbs? <laughs> That's a very good question because guess what? I'm a carbs junkie. However, I actually had avoid carbs for years and years and years and years and years and years. Believe it or not, but it's just the past two years that I gained weight. If you watch some of my older videos, you'll notice that I was much smaller. I was going, um, I've a range from between 125, 100 to 135 at 135. That was like, you know, um, at my you know peak and that was just staying away from carbs and eating a lot of salad however i used to eat a lot of protein along with that so if you're like a protein person it's not so difficult to get rid of carbs you can eat um a lot of different kinds of vegetables some do have carbs but you know like carrots have carbs but those are healthy carbs but trying to stay away from the bread and all of that you know something that i used to do which i think i need to go back to not everybody can do this because of if you have certain medical issues i used to steam cabbage and i used to you know make the cabbage nice with a lot of olive oils and a lot of natural spice and i used to eat that for my breakfast with some coffee okay and that used to really really help because cabbage just help to flush the system out a lot so i used to do that and that really really works like it just fill that crave you know so you gotta just search for something that you're comfortable with Think about the stuff you like to eat and see how you could manipulate it to suit yourself and learn your body and once you learn your body then you'll definitely you know start slow don't go cold turkey just gradually ease yourself into it we have sharon baguette i am getting married in may and desperately need to lose 40 pounds what can i do and that's what we're just talking about you have to flush the system out and you got to be committed you got to work out for me if i don't move i don't lose it doesn't matter what i eat i need to you know move to lose and along with that flush the system out guys i have some wonderful videos on this channel weight loss drink those are some no joke drink okay so if you go Go on my page, go on their healthy drink. You're going to find some awesome detox drinks on it. Just do that. Eat a sensible diet. And as we're talking about carbs, just go easy with the carbs. Do some workout. And I guarantee you, may you have a good while to go. You can do it. I mean, let's do it together because definitely I have a birthday coming up, guys. My birthday is coming up in March. And I'm telling you, I want to go in that birthday with a bang. So I'm trying to lose some weight. So if you guys want to come on the bandwagon, we probably could get together every Saturday, even like this and talk about how we are doing. No cheating. If we cheat, we, you know, just confess and go and see if the weight is going to gradually go. I personally need to get mine off because I'm getting uncomfortable. So every year we start, we do well, then we stop in the middle, but this time I'm really, really serious. So if you wanna get that 40 pounds off, then probably you could start with me on Monday by cutting the carbs and the sugar, 10 days straight carbs, no carbs, no sugar, all right? Um, S-H-E-M-Z, um, good this, G-O-D-Z. Thanks, Amelia. I'm using the potato, lemon juice, and aloe vera in growth. Oh, I missed that. Anyway, um, um, Josephine, I love vegetables and fish. Maybe I will try to stick to tuna, salmon, and tons of veggie, and that definitely, definitely will help. Just try to count the extra carbs that you take and be mindful of what you drink, because sometimes we tend to drink a lot of carbs without realizing it. So if you do that and do a little workout with it, you will be on your way to something wonderful. Josephine, anti-aging and anti-wrinkle, simple remedy. Okay, I missed a part of that. Um, Nifit N-A-I-E-F. Um, I... Um, I'm at a loss what you're saying. I don't... X-A-B-B, -B, I hope I'm not cursing. B-I-T-I-S-A-D-H-A-O-O-O. Ajia. 
Um, you look amazing. Thank you. Alisa Young, give us a big hug and kiss. Thanks so much for sharing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So there is my hug. All right. Uh, Merlin Brooks, I'll do how to get rid of ear on the chin without waxing. Very, 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 very difficult. And I I do have hair on my chin. A lot of people don't know, but I do have hair on my chin. One ingredient I find work, the baking powder um, do work. A lot of people think it's a joke. I mix some baking powder with the turmeric, especially if I'm traveling and stuff like that. And it definitely helps to keep it from coming back. It's going to grow back. But if you keep doing it, I'm sure you're going to get great results like I'm having. The turmeric for getting rid of hair anywhere on the body, guys, is a no joke. It really, really works. But it's not going to work in one day. You're going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. If you can make a turmeric paste every day, and put it on the chin for 10, 20, 30 minutes per day and rest it off, you're gradually going to notice the hair is slowly, slowly, slowly going away. So you probably should give that a try. I tried it over and over and over, and I it do work for me. It depends on your hair, the, the thickness, the coarseness of it, but just keep doing it. Whatever you use, you got to just keep doing it keep doing it. I would suggest, however, a good way to start is to wax it first. If you wax it, then you start to use the turmeric on it, you're going to see even better results. And I can testify to that because I do have here on my chin also. All right, we have um, Sharon Tomlinson. Hello, my dear Chichi. Thanks so much for your beauty tips. I really need some help with my laugh line. Um, God bless you. I post those videos that um, won this week also with the laugh lines, work on it, do the facial mask that I post, plus others that I have on the channel, and do the exercises, the facial massages, those really, really help. And guess what, guys? When you do these facial exercises, you basically see instant result. No joke. Just do it two to three times a week along with doing the facial mask and Come back and comment because I know it's going to work. That's like a no joke. It's going to work. So just try. Be dedicated. If you're not dedicated, then nothing work. Okay? Don't do it for a day and then tomorrow you come and say it didn't work. You got to keep doing it. As with anything you do, you got to be consistent. Okay? So do that. Um, Sylvia R., please do acne scars. And I have a, several videos on acne scars. I don't know why. People always, always, always be asking for acne remedy, acne remedy. However, when I post the videos, it don't normally get a lot of views, and I don't know why. People are like, oh, you don't have acne. I have tons of relatives with acne. I make acne treatment for them all the time. So I don't know why my acne videos don't do well. I guess it's the system sometimes that don't distribute those videos. So nowadays they're a little picky with what they distribute but definitely go and watch some of those videos and try to use some of those acne treatment tea tree oil is really really good for acne just cleanse exfoliate the face and use some tea tree oil along with some witch hazel oil okay all right bernie's chichi please please kk did flexi draw the one i bought in drawing I'm, okay don't get all of, all of what you wrote maybe you gotta update that black um echo um okay all right whatever how can i get rid of wart on the face banana peel mix some castor oil scrape the inside of the right banana peel that do work and blend it with the castor oil put that in your fridge and just keep rubbing it on it twice a day or at night and it's definitely gonna eventually get rid of your wart and a lot of people come back and comment on my video that i make with that recipe that it actually worked kiwana hi first time on my chat good advice Santi. thank you kiwana is my niece and this is the very 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 first time i'm seeing it or on my chat not my other niece now this is like a new one <laughs> Not new, not new, but new to the chat. Okay. Um, and Farga, I have uh, Malesma. Which recipe will be good for me? Anything that have tea tree oil, and I have several videos on those on that topic. So go and I actually did a thorough thing. I, I do a lot of research and I came back and I made the video. If I find the video, I'm gonna put it in the in the link below. Okay. All right, so whoever is on the chat today acting out, um, get a life. Okay, all right. Um, um, Tatanda, 
Um, hello, Chichi. And then we have uh, Prophet Teresa. Hello, I have sagging chin, bags and dark circles here on the face and chin discoloration. Oh, you have everything. You're at the right place. You are at the right place because all you have to do is wait for the videos or click on my face below this video. That is going to take you to my channel page. Just type in all of those things one at a time and the videos are going to just start popping up like that. So you're at the right place just google it whatever you want with my name on the end so let's say dark circle dark circle check the beauty in google and the videos are going to pop up okay we have a lot of wonderful videos on that josephine um gritson um yes italian english and spanish okay I do, what are you guys asking me to do translation i don't know maybe that's what i am actually looking into doing the translation in several different languages. Um, you have your Italian, English, and Spanish. I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about, but I also have to add, I think, Indy in there too, and um, some, I can't remember, um, Filipino, whatever language they speak, I will have to add that. Hello, Makeup Forever. I know you guys are surprised to see me on, but I just wanna come on and chat since Sunday show, I don't really get to chat. All right. Um, S-H-E-M-Z, thanks a million. I have been using potato and lemon juice and clear up my dark spot on my chin because I have ingrown here sometimes. Thanks a million. And you are so welcome. Juliette Williams, help me please. I have eye discoloration on the face plus spot. You know something? And let me make this thing clear for you guys. Nothing happened overnight. If you have dark spot blemishes, and I see this happen over and over, follow the routine. And I think last week video, no, I post a video um, last week and it looked like the Sunday chat, but it's not the Sunday chat. And I think a lot of people got confused with the thumbnail because it looks like a um, Sunday chat thumbnail, but it is not. It's all about layering products on your skin and exactly step-by-step step that you need to take care of your skin. You need to wash, you need to at least two to three times per week exfoliate, and then you're gonna have the facial toner, the serum, and the moisturizer. If you go back and you follow that, you definitely do that on a regular before you know it you are your skin is going to look different because with constant exfoliating it's going to get rid of the dead skin cells and all of that and you're going to be on your way to beautiful skin but you got to be dedicated you can't come home and be like um oh, i'm so tired i ain't even gonna wash my face tonight no you got to go wash your face and be dedicated let's say you exfoliate monday then you exfoliate wednesday keep it in your shower sugar and olive oil keep that in your sugar in your shower coconut oil and baking soda keep it in your shower you don't have to refrigerate so each time you go in the shower you won't miss it play around with it you eat a piece of orange leave a little piece dip it in some brown sugar exfoliate your face with it and you are good to go easy 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 simple and very cheap tomorrow topic is about how to look beautiful on a budget okay guys for the sunday chit chat 4 30 p.m eastern standard time also guys i have a new channel coming up Alice maxi and there we're going to talk about a lot of things i'm going to share products clothing and all of that good stuff so if you have not yet seen the Alex Maxi, I'm going to put the link below and you could go and subscribe to Alex Maxi. There's no video on it yet. We're just getting it up and running. So check it out when you're done. I'm going to put the link below. All right. Um, Juliet Williams, I have eczema. I grew up with eczema, Juliet, and I talk about that a lot on my channel. And I just, just, just take care of myself. And now people are like, oh, your skin is gorgeous. But it wasn't like this. I was like spotted all over. A lot of things was going on as a child very very delicate skin I had and I really do a lot of work on my skin using a lot of natural and store-bought products also and today this is it but I started a young age um Benice Chichi lol please I'm afraid to use the flax seed I bought how does it look like when you put it in water please okay what you bought the flax seed for if you're making that serum that i made the flax seed is gonna look a little um gummy it's gonna look like a gel when you put it in water and if you're talking about that flax seed serum that i have then you're gonna use a cheesecloth and squeeze it out and it's gonna be more like it is slimy that exactly how it needs to be so don't 
don't be afraid. Let me know if that's what you're talking about. That is perfect. If you put it on the stove for five, let's not let's say two minutes, let the water get out. It's gonna get gummy, gooey, and that's that's what you need. And that's what I used to make a serum. In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you could just go Google. I'm gonna come up with a new serum using the flaxseed also. So look out for that. Um, um, I need to see if I could block this person from the channel and um, it's going so fast all right here we get it and we are just in the move to block a person and uh, there we go you are blocked so no more of those messages all right good guys all right uh josephine rice mass and coconut mass um, is great. I love it. Do you have exercise to firm neck and loose skin around the neck? Oh, sure, 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 sure. And I have some videos on that. And I'll make a new one. Actually, guys, another thing that I could do, like on a Saturday evening, like now, I can't promise every Saturday because, you know, I have a night. So I could come on and we could do a, like a 10 minutes workout together, like, you know, doing the face and you do it along, but you would get noticed that we're going to do it and we come on and we do it together. And eventually you guys will learn the move. So we could do stuff like that. So I'll write that down and see how we could work that out. Definitely you guys will get notification and know exactly what time we're going to be. Oh, that's actually a wonderful idea. We're going to be doing these exercises and then we could, you know, we could record our step and and see let's say give ourselves a month and see what we look like at the end of the month perfect guys hold me to it keep reminding me that i said i was gonna do it all right all right belinda plus how do i grow my edges back from alopecia okay guess what castor oil castor oil is very 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 good for the edges and you could actually mix the castor oil with some shea butter just use it on the scalp, use it on that scalp, any kind of castor oil. Personally, I like the dark castor oil, black castor oil, but use whatever one you have, mix it. And guess what? A lot of aloe vera, if you get the store-bought aloe vera gel, just use that with some castor oil in it. Use it on your edges twice per day. You know, when you wake up in the morning a little, not a lot, if you have to go out at night, you put on your castor oil and it's definitely going to help your hair to grow. That's like another no joke. Okay. All right. So, um, um, let me see. Um, we also have, um, in the Edward, actually, how are you? I'm in the Edwards from India. Thanks a lot there for your serum and mask. They are really helpful. And these days, and these days I've actually reduced my skin by 10 years. Great, great, great. Now in the, it could be Aina. It could be Aina. I'm saying Indy, but it could be Aina. I think it's Aina, H-I-N-A. Now, Aina, you're on the chat. Tell me what is a good time to have a live ser uh, serum. I'm so into skincare. To have a live chat that you guys are up and about. What's a good time of the day for me to do a live chat so you guys in India could watch without having to, you know, wait up for the show? All right. So we have Juliet Williams. I love my skin. Okay, Rita, is... The green aloe or clear aloe? Okay, that's a good question. The green aloe, believe it or not, they put coloring in it, okay? The green aloe of coloring. I go for the clear because the clear is no coloring. When you get the fresh aloe and you extract the gel, what you get is clear. You see it on the channel all the time. So it's clear. So when you get green, it means they had a little coloring to it. So you could actually read the ingredient panel and you will see that there's coloring in it. It's not from the skin. It's not from the slime. It's definitely coloring. So go Go for the natural one, so go with the clear. And I think I list a hollow vera um, store bought below, so you could click on it and see the one that I use. And there are several out there that is really, really good, but not green. Go for the clear. Okay, all right. So we have um, um, okay, so all right, let me see. Somebody has been annoying, so we are gonna have to report this person. Okay, all right. Um Okay, good. All right. So there we go, guys. That's done with. All right. Um, blessed um, favor. 
Um, ha, my first chit chat ever for more than three years. Thanks for all your effort from Cambodia. Hello, 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 Cambodia. I was reading a bit on Cambodia recently. Long story. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm glad I make it this chat this time for some of you guys who have not seen the chat to get, uh, you know, a little feel of what the chit chat is. Janet Nelson. Hey, that person on here isn't very nice. Ignore, 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 ignore whatever you do in life you're always going to find people that like it some people is going to be like ah and some people is going to be totally rude now you don't give people that is rude here time you just pretend that my subscribers are great at doing that from time to time we have Sunday chat and we have people come on and some people are very rude so what we do we practice to ignore and that's what we are doing tonight we are ignoring all right all right all right Anne Farga I had uh hernia on my belly for five years and now there's loose skin and stretch marks e hello but not serious all right stretch marks we have a lot of stretch marks re remedy on this channel so what you're gonna do when you're done and i have some great ones that i get back really good feedback you're gonna definitely type in stretch mark Chichi Beauty in Google, and the videos are going to come up. We have some really nice ones, all right? When I'm done, I'm going to search for some and put the link in the description below this video. First Lady Brooke, don't watch them. You will. Okay, definitely, definitely First Lady. Francis Gars, I heard such controversy regarding facial exercise. What is your input on facial exercises? Definitely, definitely. For me, I'm all in. I'm 130% in because it works for me. There's nothing wrong with doing facial exercises. What you have to be mindful of is the amount of pressure that you put. Some people think that if you apply like really severe pressure, it's going to work better. No. So you gently, like let's say I'm going to do my cheekbones and I press right here and I'm not going to be like squeezing it down like that. No. I'm just going to slowly lift, hold and release just slowly lift hold and release it's not like you know hard you know no and then you're gonna do like some ah uh, hold and release so there's nothing wrong with doing that that is definitely building circulation and boots in the collagen with circulation comes blood flow and with blood flow comes collagen production plumping the skin up so i'm all in and i do a lot of researches on facial exercises and massages and i practice those and i am loving them so i have no problem as i said before you be mindful of the pressure that you apply Make up forever love all your videos thank you thank you right back um, um samira um, I Chichi, I'm S A M I R A from Morocco. Hello, I love you. I love you right back. And Morocco, Morocco is in Spain, right? I think, yes, that's somewhere I want to go. Um, definitely argan oil. All right, all right. Angela Simmons, love your channel. What's the best uh, mask for blackheads? Anything that have tea tree and okay. I have some wonderful, I just posted a video, Angela, and that is green tea, baking soda, coconut oil with aloe vera. Those three, that is a wonderful, and don't mind the coconut oil, okay? Do not mind the coconut oil. It definitely gonna exfoliate the skin. And another wonderful thing about that facial mask is that it's also help with wrinkles and fine lines. Wash your face before you use the facial mask and so slowly exfoliate in circular motion. When you're done, just watch that video. I actually have that facial mask in my bathroom as we speak. That's what I've been using this week, and I so, so 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 love it if you have oily skin and you're mindful of the coconut oil go ahead with some grapeseed oil or omit the coconut oil completely and squeeze some lemon juice or some orange juice or squeeze some apple juice in it i use it to exfoliate your face and come back and comment okay come back and comment all right so we have um antonna goff oh i just okay i have yellow heads and a lot of dark spot what can help? Okay, so the same recipe that I just spoke about, which is on the channel, the last video I post, go and give that one a try, okay? We have Janet Nelson. I have dark circle under my eyes and baggy under my eyes. How can I get rid of it? Parsley. 
Um, go watch some old videos of mine and look how dark my under eyes was. And now I could go without makeup. I, I do that all the time on the show. You guys see my under eyes because I use a lot of parsley. Okay, a lot of parsley. And sometimes I mix the parsley with green tea. I just play around with the parsley. And I have some wonderful videos. Um, dark circles, Chichi Beauty, and you're going to find those. But my favorite definitely is parsley. Sometimes I mix the parsley with the cucumber juice, and I sometimes mix it even with the peel. I just blend it, juice it, and put the parsley and put that together, put it under my eyes. I like to keep it in the fridge. Sometimes I had some potato juice to it, and that is definitely one of the reasons why I'm, I'm wearing makeup now, but if I was to move the makeup, you definitely could see that it's not dark. There's a trick to that, however, is that you got to keep using it because if you don't use it like six weeks or whatever, it's going to come back, and that's normal. You give me a skin a, a dark circle out there, that's going to tell you it will never come back. No, it's going to come back if you don't take care of it but watch some of those videos and just play around with those ingredients that I just gave you. Avril Ains, um, I potato and tomato marks. How often do I do that? Thank you. Two to three times per week is good. At least two times, at least two times. Okay. All right. We have, um, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not how to lift eyebrow, please. Facial massages. Facial massages will definitely find the, the, the bone right here, right here lift and hold and you keep that there for a couple seconds repeat that about 10 times do that every day or two to three times a week and it definitely gonna help to lift the brow so right here ooh, hold release lift hold release and it definitely gonna lift your brow practice 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 oh my goodness guys my time my time my time i can't believe my half an hour is gone all right then we have um circuit s-u-r-j-i-t jit sir i think hello um precious funny owen hi chichi we have us O-T-R-A, Astishi Creation, all the best of your video um, while you are doing. Okay, guys, guess what? <laughs> the 30 minutes is up. So you guys are going to comment if you want me to have the series where we do facial exercises and facial massages together. Comment below this video and let me know if we could plan that. That would be like a 20 minute, well, probably a half an hour because we would chit chat a little before and then we would get into the exercises and the massages. And we're going to like do it, let's say, for a month. And then you guys are going to do before and after pictures like myself. I'll do the same thing and we see how that works because I get a lot of requests for that. And just to prove that these things work, we could do it together. All right, guys, my time is up. I love you all. I wish I could talk for another 30 minutes or more. But for those people who are going to watch after, it's not unfair for them. It's a little unfair for them to watch an old hour they weren't taking part. So that's why we end in 30 minutes all the time. So this was just a little surprise show, guys. But we could, you know, make this like a every other week. We'll see how it go. And I'm coming up with a lot of new stuff, a lot of new stuff, a more interactive stuff. We're going to kick start in February. Uh, lunchtime, have lunch with Chichi Beauty. That's going to be the name. I'm going to be eating stuff. You're going to see me eating. And we're going to be talking. And that's going to be for another half an hour. We're still working on what day we're going to have that show. But we definitely will have lunchtime with Chichi Beauty. Probably once a week or twice a week. We're not sure. But that is coming up. And that is going to be like a really, really good show. Because we're going to be able to talk about a lot of things apart from skincare. Skincare also, but we could talk about food, you know, what is going on in the world and stuff like that. And um, just tell me if you're all on board for that series. Okay, guys, my time is up. I got to go. It's Saturday evening. Go chill. Do a facial. This is the time I normally said, if you can't do it in the week, do it on a Saturday. So do a facial mask. Go practice that scrub I post with the green tea. If you don't have all the ingredients, just, you know, play around with things. If you don't have green tea and you have the baking soda and the coconut or you have some, guess what? Even some soya bean oil. Soya bean oil is good to use on the skin too. Put a little soya bean in something. Some green tea or some baking soda, some oatmeal. Rub it on your face and you are 
are good to go. All right, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. We have a wonderful topic, how to look beautiful on a budget, how to take care of your skin on a budget. That's Sunday to chat, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you, you know, are available, you get the notification, Sunday to chat tomorrow, 4.30 p.m. There we'll really discuss the topic and I'll tend to go in depth further. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.